Alright, so stand here and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be discussing about lithium ion and lithium polymer battery. Let's go. This right here is your lithium ion, this one, and that's your lithium polymer. You can see that this is a drone battery and this is a power bank salvaged battery. I took the photos of this and put it on the PowerPoint slides. So that's your lithium ion and your LiPo battery. The structure of the lithium ion battery, the simplified one. So it basically converts chemical potential energy to electrical energy and heat energy. Why heat energy you might ask? Well heat energy is generated by the internal resistance of the battery. Anything that's built has a resistance. Even the air has a resistance, but it's a very 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 high resistance, almost negligible. So you can measure it on our simple multimeter. You can only measure it somewhere like all those advanced multimeters. So that's the structure of the lithium ion battery. And yes, you can see that the electrons move from the negative to the positive. Like this. And that's your Li ions. Let's calculate the volumetric energy density. It's how much volume or how many how much power can it generate with one meter cube of volume that's basically how or one centimeter cube all right so let's refer to the first slide all right you can see the picture of the lithium ion and lithium polymer battery so that's your lithium ion battery that's your lipo battery or lithium polymer let's focus on the lithium ion battery first what are the dimensions of the battery this is the battery for reference. That's your length. This is your width. And that's your height. So uh, you measure it with your ruler. If you measure it with your ruler, you can get the values. Length equals to the longest side, width equals to the shorter side, and height equals to the height of the battery. Equals to the uh, well height of the battery. Yeah. So we find the volume from the length and breadth and height. We don't measure too much because the ruler has only a precision of such a limited value, which is 0.1 centimeter. Not that how much can it measure up to. You can only measure a precision of 0.1. How precise is the ruler? So we multiply the values together and we'll get 34.85 centimeter cube. Now let's find the volumetric energy density. Yes, sure. Let's use the formula for density for example. This this um, symbol right here is rho or density kilogram per meter cube equals to mass. The mass of the, the SI unit for mass is um, kilogram and volume equals to meter cube. So kilogram per meter cube. That's rho. We, we just write this as this is the symbolism for density. Use your mass as your battery capacity in SI you need 18.5 watt hour for my case. So how to find the battery capacity? That's your battery capacity. Or you can simply multiply the cap the capacity of the battery in the ampere hour by 3.7 volt, you'll still get the same value. But in this case, we need to use ampere hour. We need to use the SI unit, or not, we'll get the SI unit. Instead, we'll get another one hour. That's your battery capacity. Your volume will be the battery's volume, the length and breadth and height. Thing. The SI unit for volume is meter cube. So we have to convert this 34.85 into this cubic meter. Cubic centimeter equals to a millionth of cubic meter. So Take 34.85, divide by 1 million, and you'll get 3.485 e to the power of minus 5. Hence, the battery volume is this amount, which corresponds to this. That's 0.000035 meter cube to significant figure, because ruler can only have a precision of up to 0.1 centimeter, whereas burning calipers have a precision of 10 times more at 0.01 cm. Micrometer screw gauge has 100 times more precision than your normal screw. 
at 0.0001 centimeter or 10 micrometer. Thus, your volumetric energy density is 530 kilowatt hour per meter cube. That is in raw. But we must but why do I actually add up to kilowatt hour? Because or not the watt hour will be 530,000. So I'm just gonna use 530 kilowatt hour. Since the amount is too big, let's divide both sides by 1 million. Because since 1 meter cube equals to a million centimeter cube, we'll drop this down to 1 million to I mean sorry, 1 centimeter cube or a centimeter cube instead of meter cube. And kilowatt hour divide by a million. 1 kilowatt hour take note is a thousand watt hour. So we divide the values like this and we got 0.53 watt hour. Thus, you will get 0.53 watt hour per centimeter cube. You know how tiny is a centimeter cube? It's like 1 cm, 1 cm, and 1 cm. That is the amount of energy it can store per centimeter cube. That's actually a lot of capacity, isn't it? Well, technically, yes, it's a lot if you calculate it that way. Centimeter cube equals to milliliters. But however, as some of you might know, the lithium ion battery can go as high as up to a, a few hundred more than this amount. So per liter is 53 or 530 watt hour per liter. That's actually a, oh wait. No no no. Um so if we find per liter, let's say we multiply this by a thousand and this by a thousand, then we'll get around 53 multiplied by 530 watt hour per centimeter cube. Uh, but per liter. Okay, so since one meter cube equals to a million, it goes to a million centimeter cube. So one liter gives you a thousand of a centimeter cube, which is equals to a million. One million divided by one thousand gives you one thousand. Now, since we got our volumetric energy density, why not find our gravimetric energy density? Uh, well, sure. P, or I mean sorry, rho equals to m over b, where rho is density, m is mass, and b is volume. Recall that formula. There's a lot of formula in physics. I'm just going to use this. Your mass will now be your battery capacity, which is 18.5 hour. Your volume would be your mass. We, we change a little bit. We modify the formula so that we find our gravimetric energy density, which is how many kilogram does. I mean, how much capacity does one does one kilogram hold? For this example, let's put everything in the SI unit. Mass equals to 0.078 kilogram. Power equals to watts. Divide your battery capacity by the mass. Equals to 18.5 divided by 0 0.078. 0 0.078 gives you 240 watt hour per kilogram to significant figure, or 0.24 watt hour per gram. That's a lot. Whoosh! A lot, isn't it? Well, indeed. So, hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.